All right, let's do this. Okay. If you can tell from my shirt and my headband, today's theme is purple. So we are going to dig deep into a fully purple palette. We're gonna do a fully bright purple eyeshadow look, and we are going to be uninhibited, unafraid, and see what the hell happens. So today, we're gonna dig into the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. I did pick this up around Christmas time. They did at Sephora 50% off of these little guys. And so they're normally pretty pricey for a nine eyeshadow, pretty tiny palette. They are normally like $29. And I got this one for I think 17 at that point. So pretty good deal in my opinion. Um, but there are a lot of gorgeous pigments. I'm personally a really huge fan of these little guys. I know some people have mixed feelings, but I'm a big, big fan of them. I have quite a few of them at this point, um, but we're gonna focus on the purple one. I am, I did grab the uh, Mauve Obsessions palette from her collection as well, just so I would have a couple more neutral shades to work with just for blending purposes. But without any further ado, let's jump into this bad boy and make some purple Barney-like eyes. Yes, I love you, you love me. Let's do some damn makeup. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. We're gonna go in with this little guy. It's a lighter one. I think it's gonna work really well. And then we're gonna go in with this shade down here and do just a little bit of darkening with it. And then I'm pretty sure we're gonna do that for the outer corner, just to give us a general game plan of what our matte shades are going to look like. Now, purple is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to do. Purple has quickly become probably my favorite color, if I'm being 100% honest, for a very long time, it was blue. And I still love blue, but like when I really think about like what colors I like to wear and what colors I like on my skin tone, blue is one of my least favorite, if I'm being honest. Um, I normally gravitate towards purple. My hair was purple for a hot minute and I miss it. I really have developed a very strong love for purple. And because of that, I buy a lot of palettes that have purple tones and all of that kind of good stuff in it. But I do love a palette that is fully dedicated to one color, which is why I'm really a big fan of this collection from Huda. What's funny is I know I talk about like, I referenced Barney and <laughs> I watched Barney all the time when I was little, but I hated Barney. Like, I don't know why. I really just had a very strong dislike for him. I love the show, I just didn't like him. Like Baby Bop was my like, my girl. She was my like best friend. And I had this little blow up like punching bag thing. And one side of it was Barney and the other side was Baby Bop. And I used to like beat the ever loving crap out of Barney's side and I would like just hug Baby Bop. It was, it was very weird. I would love to know what the psychology behind my four year old mind doing that was. It probably, probably isn't healthy. <laughs> it's probably not, not anything good. So we're getting a nice good basis for the purple, kind of clean up some of the harsh edges and make it a little bit more natural looking right now. Because if my eyes are purple, I want them to look naturally purple, obviously. That was actually the darker shade because I, I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but it was the darker shade, the slightly darker shade. So we're going in with the light shade now. Oh wow, that's that's pink, holy crap. He was pigmented, whoo, whoo. I was not expecting that. This will definitely be an eye look that we go in with concealer and clean it all up. And then we do uh, the final touches uh, after that because I just think it's gonna be necessary. I think when you're using a lot of, oh my God, I did it with this eye too. At least they match. Um, but I think when you're going in with any sort of like one color heavily, it makes it a lot easier to go in and neutralize some of your area where you've applied the color with, uh, goodness gracious, with uh, concealer. That way it makes it just a little bit uh, less like in your face. I don't, I don't hate the in your face. I just prefer it that way. I'm gonna go in with the white from the Mauve palette and just try and get a little bit of this neutralized because wow, wow, it went in heavy. It came in hot and then uh, it came in hot on this side and I said, oh no. And then I did the, it worse on the other side. So here we are. Okay, so actually the white shade from the Mauve palette really did a great job of going in there and neutralizing it, which I am thrilled about because it was getting a little bit like really dark. And I, I not that I'm opposed to that. I was just like, well, we're gonna have to adjust what I originally was hoping would happen with this, um, which that happens quite frequently when I do my makeup, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I, yes, okay. So we're, we're on a better track now. Let us now go in with the dark purple and get a good little corner dark area going on here. A corner dark area, corner dark area. That's what I said. 
I don't know what I meant, but that's what it, that's what came out. It sounds like the place where my sleep paralysis happens. I think we're getting to a good place to go ahead and say that it's probably time to do some concealer and clean everything up. This concealer I bought hoping it was gonna be good. It was terrible for concealer, but I actually love it for doing like a neutralizing area for your inner corner. It's very tacky like it sticks and it's which is ironic because it's supposed to be creaseless concealer but it winds up creasing so horribly when you do it like on your under eyes it, it really is just like the worst joke that the universe could play on any makeup lover but anyway i digress but it works so well for holding on to color pigment so it is of course the tarte creaseless concealer i think it is still sold on their website i bought it at ulta when it was on sale once because like i just said i like to buy sale makeup but uh this guy's running really low and i'm probably gonna have to buy some more from tarte probably at full price just because it, i really do like it for for this purpose alone. Even like the little wand is perfect for going in and just kind of cutting your crease, like it'd be working. Now I've been looking at this palette and trying to figure out what I want to do for the inner color. This one is, be they're all, all three of those shimmers are really gorgeous. And I say three shimmer, there's like, there's three mattes, there's three, what I would call like demi shimmers. And then there are three like really bold, like has the big chunky glitter in included in it. So I'm gonna go with one of those for this. I think I'm gonna go with the center one. This one looks just a touch light from what I, I'm w wanting to do. I think we're gonna try the um, the center one because I think it's actually going to play very nicely. I can't find anything ever, it's a problem. I got this idea to put poems and music together. Like songs? No, museums. Oh. Right. I found it. Peep my SoundCloud. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Really pretty. Much lighter than I thought too, which is awesome. I was like really worried it was gonna be super, super dark and it's not, but it's not working well with the brush. So I'm gonna abandon the brush. We're gonna try it with my finger first. A little second, cause we already tried the brush. So <laughs> we're gonna try it second. Oh yeah, much better. Okay. I personally hate using my finger to apply glitter shades. It's just not like, I, it, it's gross in my opinion. And now with like everybody being so paranoid about touching everything, it makes it even worse for me mentally. But that being said, I have learned that the technique is very um, necessary for certain glitter pigments. I will say there are some that I look at and I go like, oh, that I'm gonna have to apply that with my finger. And then I try and apply it with my finger and it, it just does not work. So it's kind of like a testing situ situation every time I do it now. Like I just, I'm like, I think this one looks like it's probably gonna do better if I apply it with my finger and then I try it. And if it doesn't work, then I'm like, well, let's try a brush. And that, so that's what you guys just witnessed there was me like, oh, let's test it with a brush. Cause I think this will work with a brush. And then it was like, no, it won't. Lovely, okay, I really, really like that shade. Just an absolute ton. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it. As I was doing that, I was going self. This looks okay, but you know what would really help is if you did some winged eyeliner. And I hate doing winged eyeliner. If you've heard me, uh, see me, witnessed me wear makeup ever, heard me talk about makeup or see me do my makeup, then you just know like I absolutely don't like doing eyeliner because it always winds up screwing up my makeup. But today I'm feeling especially masochistic and reckless. So let's do it. Let's just, let's just live our lives. So here we go. We're gonna do some winged eyeliner. Actually, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a highlight inner corner in a crease shade and then we're gonna do some eyeliner, so. Highlight a, a sufficiently done. It made me go, oh, that looks so pretty. Maybe I shouldn't do this, but you know what? No, I already said it, so here we go. All right, let's do some eyeliner. Now I did see on the TikToks today, a girl talking about how to do really good winged eyeliner. She said, just go straight out and then come like just to like before the tip and then connect it this way. It makes it kind of a flat wing. I'm gonna try that because I liked the way that it looked and I have hope that it will make me slightly better at uh, something I'm really truly garbage at, but like, let's, let's go for it. <laughs> crazy or does it actually look kind of good? Really good. Do you like it? I do. You're just saying that because you're trying to be supportive. It's gross. <laughs> no, it's very sexy. Take your damn dirty lies. Get the hell out of here. Like, okay, so that one doesn't look terrible. It's a little bit like downturned. It's less of like a cat eye and more of like a, like a sad, like lizard tail eye, but I'm not hating it. So like, I, that's a good sign. <laughs> But now I have to make the other one match. Let's do it. Pump make up your something. Make dreams things. come true. Are you awake? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on. That was fruit too. 
fruit juice for monetization purposes. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay. <sighs> I'm not ready. I'm so afraid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. First, this is actually, I'm just going to mess with this one more because it's a little bit janky. Okay, here we go. I, th I threw a cap and maybe something else on the ground. My will to live. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. It was <laughs> fear manifestation. <laughs> fear manifesting in my heart. This this video derailed so quickly. It was like, let's do a purple eye look. Let's let's question my will to live. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Sad lizard tail on the other side. Go team. Let's get let's do this. Okay. I don't know why I'm holding my hand like this, but I, it's like I need support. <laughs> it's like a wrist corset. Like stay up and do your job. Rib cage. Wrist cage, if you will. Yeah, that's not working. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Adjusting. Adjusting. Oh no, this one's upturned. Holy. <laughs> holy. <laughs> well, this is just a mess now because this one's upturned, and now I don't know if I can turn it down. Turn down for what? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What if I just make it a choice? Like one's like saggy and one's like up high. That's just, that's the, that's the choice. Is that, that's, that's a terrible plan. It's a terrible plan. All right, it's fine. That's why we have concealer. All right. Sorry, sad lizard tail. You gotta, you gotta perk up some. I need you to, I need you to look more alive. <laughs> Silly me for putting away my palette like I was somehow not gonna have to fix this. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eight million years later, here we go. I'm actually pretty excited with how it turned out. It did cause me some emotional trauma. I am definitely changed as a person now from having decided to do that last minute. But you know what? Here we are. I made it work and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really love purples. I just do, I just, I love them. I think they're so much fun to play around with, but everybody's gonna have a different favorite color to work with on their eyes. And it's gonna depend on your skin tone and what you like best and your, what your comfortability is. So, but I just encourage you guys, I hope you, uh, you use this video as inspiration to go explore some really unique bright colors and find something that makes you uh, a little bit uh, scared, but also it allows you to have a little bit of fun while you're doing your makeup. Cause that's what the whole point is. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That means the absolute world to our channel. It helps us grow and it makes us feel nice. And we love it when you guys enjoy what we've created for you. And if you really like it, then please definitely consider joining the Dark Angel family. We love to have new amazing members join us and become a part of our little YouTube community. So if you do, then hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you see every time we, um, we post content, which is pretty frequently right now. And other than that, I hope you guys just have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.